our project is aimed, it's basically a two-pronged solution to improve the human factors of control. We use this myo armband basically to detect gestures, so it has a bunch of electrodes on it that measure the EMG signals, basically muscular signals that correspond to you know different levels of tenseness in your muscles and stuff like that, right? It also has a nine-axis IMU that we can use to detect the motion of your hand in space. So we use that to figure out whether you're going left, whether you have a fist and you're going left, or whether you're just your fingers and you're going left, and vice versa. So, like I said, when we said two-pronged solution, the first facet of our solution was we wanted to use gesture-based control. In our research, we found that people found gesture-based control for drones to be intuitive. So, usually when you pilot a drone, you need to think in terms of the drone's sort of sense of direction. So what we did was we decided to track the orientation of the drone in the XY plane, essentially, so that we can make sure that no matter what the orientation of the drone is, if you say go left, it'll go left, you say go right, it'll go right. So you know, it'll move in the same sort of sense of direction to you no matter what the orientation is. And that makes it a lot easier for people who are not used to flying drones. So essentially that's our two factors solution to the human factors of controlling drones. The key point is that for a uh, speech sound disorder, the only way to treat it is actually going through uh, speech therapy and uh, constantly repeating it, having a linguist for you to actually analyze your recording and tell you how to position your mouth to improve your pronunciation. What we are trying to do is to have a linguist in our podcast. So basically, whenever you need to do that for a specific word or in general, just improving your pronunciation, you can just have that app ready to go and just type in your word and do, see how it is. So for example, I've pronounced the word vowels right now and it's giving me feedback on what I've pronounced wrong and then how I can improve it by looking at how each vowel is pronounced, by how it should have been pronounced and how it was pronounced by these. And this graph just shows you how far you are from the pronunciation. And we're at what the Canadians, or Canadian seniors, at least, I think over 80% of Canadian seniors over the age of 65 take at least one medication per day. And we are close to almost a third of Canadian seniors that take at least five medications a day, and that is a lot too much. So uh, right there, uh, a patient will end up prescribing medication. We'll get, you know, a new pill bottle with medication. And one of these tags. So these, these tags basically uh, will attach. They will attach to the top of one of these pill bottles. And sort of when it's time for them to take a medication, what's going to happen is uh, it'll uh, it'll uh, go off with some sound and light, and basically to signal, hey, it's time to take this medication. Go ahead and do it. Mm -hmm. So once they've done that, they'll t press this button on the side. It'll signal that you know they have taken the medication, and it'll record on the back end the time at which they took the medication. Now thinking about editing uh, yourself in the database, uh, you can see now this is the frame that has captured of your face and it's sent into processing. So now, um, because that turn off a bunch of optimizations, it takes around like five seconds, but you see it, you recognize it. So at the same time, so the both of us uh, and uh, yeah, this works for multiple faces. You can see it will capture like uh, near the gene space and send it down across the So just sit in. So what we want to do with this is basically build an API, build a system, where developers can just use this as a function call and build whatever they want to build. They can build medical apps, they can build you know, retail shopping apps, whatever they want. So this is like the video call, the image vote poll, and if you vote, you can actually see the live percentages of who voted on what, and when you click in to create a new poll, this is where you add the question, you can put images, video, and this is your user profile, you could create even the groups here, 
to see like so this is this poll it's only available for these members of the group and you also have the option to set your account as private yeah and this is the there's notifications as well so for example this person accepted your friend request you would go to his profile a poll has ended check the results so our project is called Smart Funder, and the basic idea behind it is that it's Kickstarter, but on the really blockchain. Uh, so one of Kickstarter's major problems is that they have issues with uh, fraud or projects that fail to deliver. So what that means is that uh, for one reason or another, uh, a company will post a project and they have some really nice designs, they have really nice photoshopped uh, pictures, and a lot of people invest in that project, and then it ends up going nowhere. So either they disappear or the project never materializes. And then those investors have lost that money. So what we've decided to do is set up this uh, project called Smart Funder, and it asks companies to actually uh, present their project in terms of milestones. So uh, they have to achieve a number of certain steps in order to have additional funds released to that project. So if a project wants to raise, say, a million dollars, they have to present proof of work along the way in order to have that million dollars sent out to them in uh, specific steps. So $50,000 at a time over a number of milestones. In order to determine whether or not they've met those milestones, we have our group of investors, the crowdfunded people who, have, who are investing in the project. Uh, they vote as a group over here. Uh, so their vote then determines whether or not more funds will be released to the project. Uh, if they vote yes, more funds are released. If they vote no, then the uh, project is yeah. essentially terminated. With that. So our project is image detection for automatic music transcription. So the idea is like if you hear a song on like YouTube that's <laughs> movie, or like even if you're recording at a concert, if you want to play it yourself, you don't really know what notes you're playing. Then you need the sheet music, which is like the instructions on how to play the song. Um, so our project is to try to automatically figure out the notes being played so that people can do that. So we made an autonomous uh, robot that can charge electric vehicles. Uh, the intended use case for this is uh, mostly in autonomous uh, cars and autonomous fleets. So if you're a company like Uber or maybe in the future Amazon, who has a lot of vehicles parking in a garage at the end of the day, uh, it's very helpful to have uh, this type of infrastructure which can uh, reduce your labor cost, reduce your energy cost, because uh, it can do it on its own without any human intervention. Use uh, some computer vision. There's 3D printing. We have a lot of uh, different technologies involved in this project. So the LED turns on to provide better contrast. The first step is a rough alignment that will bring the charger about 12 centimeters away from the charging port. At this point, the camera will get a better view of the charger, and as you can see, it's not perfectly aligned. Here, it's making a few fine adjustments, and as soon as the LED turns off, it means it's committed to the engagement, and it'll keep pushing the charger through until the force sensor has a reading that's um, beyond a certain threshold that we pre-programmed, and you can see the sign light it up, which shows that there's power transfer between the charger and the charging port. And once this uh, sign turns off, it's uh, confirmed that there's no longer any more tr power transfer between the charger and we can disengage and this uh, apparatus will reset to its neutral state in about 30 seconds ready for charging again with another vehicle.